Good morning, I'm Drew Thomas. And I'm Simon Floss. Thank you for joining us. The USF Bookstore has changed things up a bit. This past week, the bookstore held a contest to rename the bookstore without any books. Thomas Marshall and Christine Rayner have more on the story. USF is switching things up. First, by renaming the bookstore, the contest that was held at a very large variety of different names, but only one could be worthy. The bookless bookstore would now be called Cougar Central. Previously, we were known as the USF Bookstore, and since we switched to the virtual bookstore last summer, it didn't really make sense anymore. The first comment people always made was, it's the bookstore without books. So we thought it was time to move forward and give ourselves kind of a new identity um, that better reflects the services that we provide. So we knew that the bookstore was going to be renamed, and we came over one day just to do some shopping, and um, we'd kind of been talking about it in our office, throwing some ideas around, and I came up with Cougar Central just because because lower level Jordan used to be called Cougar Central back in the day, so it's kind of retro. We had a contest, so we had students submitting their ideas, and we had over a hundred submissions, so we had a great turnout. People really were excited, and they really cared to see, you know, what we were going to rename the store. So after everyone put in their submission, we had a small committee put together um, kind of their top picks, and we just talked about them, and we talked about what would be the best fit for USF. And I won a hundred dollar gift certificate to the bookstore. Yay! There are more new additions to the store. Jennifer Knutson shares with us a little bit about what we can expect to see from the upcoming months. We have a new loyalty card. It's a 10 for 10 card, so every time you buy $10 worth of merchandise, you get a stamp, and when you fill it up, you get $10 off, so that's new. We are making improvements to our website, and I hope by this summer that we're going to be able to have our own online store. So whether you know your parents live in Colorado or you know somewhere outside of the state, they can order your stuff, um, their merchandise, your hoodies, that type of thing and have it shipped directly to them. We have unique items here and I hope people get a chance to check out all of our cool stuff. And that wraps up today's edition of College Daily. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.